Hello everyone. Welcome back to uh, Chasing Neat. I'm Michael. I'm Dawn. This is Dawn. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> I was going to introduce you, but you can introduce yourself oh. too. <laughs> I think we just did. I'm Dawn. I'm Michael. <laughs> okay, cool. We got that established. Yes, yep. <laughs> And this is Ben Holiday. Ben Holiday. Woohoo! Super excited about Ben Holiday. It's been, I don't know, a few months. Yeah, we went uh, as part of our trip to Texas. We went through Kansas and. Yeah, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, do, 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 on down the road. Yep, and then back. And back, yeah. And we've been talking a lot about uh, Ben Holiday a uh, lot recently, and I was just. Tell him, Mike, I said, we really need to go back there because I really, really enjoyed that distillery. Yeah, it was a nice, <clears throat> uh, a nice distillery. It was also a very nice uh, tour of the distillery that we had. So we kind of had our own private mm -hmm. tour with, uh, yeah. I can't remember the gentleman's name that took us on the trip, but or tour. But, oh, I forget. We'll have to look, we'll have to look yeah. back because ah, it's been a while since we had the tour. But um, yeah, so we actually tried the Ben Holiday before we actually even knew of Ben Holiday. Yeah. Um, Mike is um, guilty of when he's unsupervised while he goes shopping, he comes back sometimes with a bourbon that I'm like, what is this? And that was one of those, what is this? <laughs> Did you get that? Not true. Well, it is true. However, this particular incident, it's not true because this is the one we tried at the um, Wise Guys raffle. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. Um, I thought we knew it before that, but it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, I think th I think we tried it there. Oh, we probably tried it there. We anyway. Um We tried it someplace, but I, th I thought it was there. I feel like we tried it at home. <laughs> it doesn't matter either way. Yeah. We found it, and it was like amongst our bourbon friends was not on their radar anywhere. And of course, we had it, tried it, been drinking it, and then went on the trip, and. We still see it every once in a while, or we were seeing it before we actually went to it on the tour, so we had to stop. So, um, that was cool. Yes, it was cool. <laughs> it was cool. I know, I was like looking at it there. What are you looking at? <laughs> so anyway, um, so we're gonna go try two of these bourbons. We got, like I so said, we had this one over here on the left um, in our stash already. And then we picked up a couple at the distillery itself. Yep, yep. So we're going to try these two. We've got one more hidden down here. Mm, yeah, just. Which we will save for a later tasting. Yeah, sure. But what do we have here, Mike? Uh, so this one is their their normal, regular blend. Um, this is the Ben Holiday Missouri Straight Bourbon Whiskey Bottled and Bond. This one was distilled fall of 2016 and then bottled in October of 22. So it's a six year, and as we'll talk about um, a little bit later, this came from Warehouse C, and it is made up of three barrel, well, of barrels from three floors. 27% um, of this is made from barrels on floor two, 55% of this is from three, and 18% is on floor five. And it's 100 proof, because it's bottle and bond. Mm -hmm. yep. And I wanted to grab some of the tasting notes. Um, well, so let's wait for that. Let's oh, okay. use the other one, and then as we're going through it, we can do the tasting notes. Okay, we well, grab but, the other one. But um, the second one that we have here is a Holiday Soft Red Wheat, which is a softer, less glutinous uh, wheat, yep. and um, it's a what they call their Rick House proof. So it's sim I guess it's similar to like what they call barrel proof. I mean, they call it Rick House proof. It's basically proofed at whatever they pulled yeah. out of the Rick House. Yeah, yeah there. Um, this one's what one nineteen proof. Oh, 119 proof. Yep, and it's a six year bourbon as well. Mm -hmm. And it's like another. It's a Missouri straight bourbon whiskey as well. So um, this is one we really like. So we grabbed a couple bottles when we tried after we tried it at the. At the distillery, so. So Don commented or mentioned that it was a uh, Missouri straight bourbon whiskey, yep. which which both of these actually are. Yeah, yep. um, and I wanted to touch on that because it, it differs from uh, some other of the state yeah. um, ones. This one, it has to be mashed 
fermented, distilled, aged, bottled in the state. And the oak barrels have to be manufactured in the state. Mm -hmm. And beginning in 2020, the corn had to be completely grown in the state. Yeah, that's cool. So if it matches all those criteria, then it can be called a Missouri straight yeah. bourbon whiskey. Yeah, so I mean, Kentucky has similar, very similar things. I just don't know if Kentucky straight bourbon has all those extra, has to be made in those, you know, the oak. I don't Carol think so. I don't think they take it to the, the other steps. Yeah. I think it's just more, there's a couple of things, but Kentucky straight, you know, Missouri straight, and we're learning all about those, so. Yeah. Exciting. That's for the, that's the nerdy side, right? You know, so yeah. um, we are also those people who like to drink, take uh, take sips, smells, and all that, and just give you those those notes and those tastes, but, and I'm going to get really jazzed on uh, just going to the distilleries and actually learning some history of this, and, you know. Yes. Reporting the stats for those nerds out there who like that stuff. Yep. So, anyway. So, you want to go and taste? Yeah, let's go ahead and, and taste. We'll, in yep. between taste, we'll talk about the distillery um, a little bit more yep. itself. But So, we are going to be starting on the inside, which is the bottle and bond. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're, we're doing that. Yep. Our left or right is that left or right. Yep. Okay. Nope. 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 Oh, nope. Put it down. I said the inside. Oh, whoops. So, <laughs> we would have been way wrong on, on our taste differences there, so... All right. Okay, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I was like, wow, this bottled and bond one is really yummy. <laughs> well, they both are yummy, yep. so I already know this, but yeah. So it's got... Yeah. yeah it's it's got medium legs. I mean, I don't have... Oh, yeah. I can see where it stopped on the glass, but it's just now starting to, to drip down in a few spots, so... Yeah, not as sugary as some others we've had. But it definitely is so, and the, of course the legs are just like the little ridges, and the sugars go up on the side of the glass, and it just slowly comes back down. So, yeah. I mean, usually I think we talk about most people, wine people, talk about the legs on that, but we're doing it for a bourbon too. Yes. Yeah, the color is pretty good though. It's like from a butterscotch color. Yeah. But it's nice funny. Dark amber. Yep. It's funny. I never really thought it made a big difference on the color. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Let me try it. And see if I like it. But. I do notice that on a very young bourbon, if it's a really light color, I'm a little squeamish about trying it. But we'll still try it. Yep. That smells really good. So definitely, definitely sweet on the nose. I get a little yeah. uh, alcohol, ethanol right away, but yeah. then it, it quickly not goes into, into sweetness. Yeah, not much at all. Definitely some brown sugar yep. and caramels. I and that a... sweet creme brulee note that I like to smell. Yeah, that really is that. You I mean, vanilla? Pretty, oh yeah, I always get vanilla. I pretty much always get vanilla in, in most bourbons. <clears throat> I think I have a, little, a slight hint of orange too. But I mean, it's not really strong nose. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? It's just. But it's a definite nose. I mean, you, yeah. you can tell stuff's there. There's mm -hmm. there's not anything just jumping out, which is good. Yeah. Actually, we just nice, well rounded. We just try it. This is all right. Bourbon coffee for the bourbon. Mm. See what? Go back to the uh, mash bill. They don't give the mash bill for this. Oh. <clears throat> they only give it for the other one. Oh. Um. But I thought they were <clears throat> both wheats, and I thought this was just a red wheat. But. No, this one over here is. That's the red wheat. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. It's, you can you can feel the proof on this, but you know what? The proof doesn't doesn't last in your mouth very long for a hundred proof. It kind of hits your tongue and. Yeah, this one said the soft. That's soft red wheat. Soft right red is the one substitute. It's it's swapped mm -hmm. with the red for rye. Yep. But I didn't think this had rye in it. Yeah. But, it's a secret, top secret. But it's definitely kind of smooth, kind of. It kind real. of reminds me of Maker's Mark in a little bit, where there's yeah. those. Yeah, I'd say high, it high peaks in, in the flavor. I would say it definitely mimics um, Maker's pretty pretty decently, like a, not even not forty six, but just the regular Maker's. Definitely sweet on the palate. 
you swallow, then you get the alcohol right away. Mm -hmm. And then a couple, two levels of sweetness come, for me anyway, on my palate, on the, I'm, on the I'm finish. I'm getting a little grassy on that last that second sip. But hmm. I, I don't think that that 100 proof is hot at all. No, no, you don't feel... Yeah. Feel I, the 100. I think a beginner person could really could do this. I think they would feel it, no, but it doesn't last very long at all. It's smooth. And they could, they could add <clears throat> a couple of drops of water to, to proof that down to where they like it. Um, yeah. Definitely drink it over, over ice if they if they really wanted to. Um, it would hold up to that, I think. Mm. Now I'm kind of wondering if it would. Because... It is so, maybe Delicate. to me, it's so, so smooth. Now, after like the second and the third sip. Yeah. The first sip, it's like, kind of gets you, but you know it's 100 proof. But they're just, to me, they're, the, the second and the third is kind of just mellowed out. Yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to clean my, cleanse. cleanse my palate, and then we'll taste the outside glasses, which is this. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, soft red wheat. Right? Yeah. Soft red wheat. Okay. Let's try this guy. It's just kind of funny. They give you the blend of the floors. Like, honestly, what is floor one? <laughs> What's floor four? You know what I mean? That means nothing to us. Other than location, well, it, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's how high, so I get, it takes on those blends. Yeah. I think he had mentioned something about this the first time. Um, well, this one right here, the very first release of the this is basically the very first release that Holiday Distillery has released bottled and bond since they started to distill bourbon underneath the McCormick Distilling Company's name. Under the Ben Holiday label? You yeah. Know? yeah. 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 And it's a six year. And I believe uh, in the notes where we looked at um, the master distiller, um, he was really fond of what the Rick House Floor 3, because there's a barrel um, that ha that has the exact date of uh, one of the, is it his son? So, specifically... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the third floor, mm -hmm. specifically Rick Six Tier Three, mm -hmm. has an exact date of his son uh, when his son was born. Rick Six Tier Three. Okay, it's kind of. But this is the first okay. one that they've gotten to use all the barrels from the 2016 fall distillation okay. season. Yeah. And I don't know why that makes, you know, he he had made a <clears throat> uh, a specific. He had made uh, mention of that. I don't know if the spring session season was any worse or better than the the fall. He didn't he didn't comment on that. He just said this is all from fall. Yeah. Whereas the other one was all from sixteen or from this. But to be a bottle of mine, it has to be from the right. same season. Same. So, yep. Um, same season. Right. And he being the master distiller. First name is Kyle, and of course, I forget, we didn't write down what his last name was, ah. But I believe he was a master distiller, a distiller that actually came from McCormick Distilling. So. Yeah, I think Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We have to go back to our uh, our tour. Our tour. Our video yeah, on the tour. Yeah. There are so many, there's so many things to keep track of, or that we try to keep track of, to like, tell people about it, because um, we don't, I, we want to give credit to the people who actually spend their time making this great stuff, yeah. you know, and the history and, and there's just so many like versions of like who started what and then it then of course prohibition came in and screwed everybody up you know and then who survived and who came out of it you know so it's just kind of neat to follow the history of that mm -hmm. but you want to make sure you get it right yep but yeah. all right enough talking anyway, okay enough talking let's go to bottle number two sweet red wheat oh Straight Missouri whiskey, a hundred and nineteen proof. Ooh, this I, is... I definitely don't smell. I, I smell more alcohol in this than I do in this. Uh, I would agree with that. I I get brown sugar immediately. Yeah, it's just 
pure that sweet on the, really on the good. nose. Yeah. Maybe a little bit darker color, mm. but not much. Yeah. Mm -mm. Again, this, this is six years as well. Both six years, yep. yeah. Must be the sweet spot, huh? That was been, yeah, spring 2017. That smells really good. I don't really want to drink it yet because it oh, smells so good. All right. But you're going for it. Okay. I'm still smelling it. I smell maple sugar too. Maple syrup. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Hmm. Definitely still don't. I didn't feel the alcohol in that. I don't feel the extra 19 points in that. Sip one. It's hot on the front of my tongue. Really? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a hug. A little bit of a hug. But. I'm getting that burnt marshmallow uh, as my finish to this. Yeah. Um, oh, it's got a good nose. It is so. It does have a really good nose. I got more. I got more ethanol on this one. You said you didn't get any ethanol mm. on it. Second sip, still the same. It's nice, balanced. There's nothing punching you. Um, now I'm getting a little, little burn in the mouth, but no Kentucky hug. I got some dryness now. Yeah, second sip got more of those tannins, more yep. of those squeak, as I say, squeaky teeth. Squeaky teeth feels. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Cleans your palate a little bit. It does. Kind of gives you a break. What's it going to be like in the third one? What, what are some of the tasting notes that we get with <clears throat> both of these? So, what are his tasting notes? Yeah. Um. Now I'm not getting any kind of citrus at all out of this one, like I did the first one. No. I just get more like baking spices, kind of, for that for both of these, but mostly this one, the second one, the sweet red wheat. So his, his final notes, the distiller notes, which they actually have up on their website. So if you go to the website, you can find mm -hmm. the, um, so this was the spring of 2017 mm -hmm. distillation. Um, and basically he says, changing out the, uh, the soft wheat, um, which has a lower level of proteins and minimal gluten. This wheat also has different um, gelatinization temperature than rye and the distinct chemo chemical breakdown due to differing amino acid concentrations between wheat and rye. Um, so the during the fermenting process the yeast will consume the sugar that was extracted from the grains during the cook process to create alcohol. We know that. Um, but the amino acids are also extracted from the grain during it, during the cook process, and the yeast will consume those during. Didn't I just read that? It's the same. Yeah, yeah basically. Um, no, no, but he wrote it. Wrote he wrote it twice. Um, so the yeast will produce higher alcohols and esters, which are known as the congeners. Um, this is way super nerdy now at this point, right? No, actually, I, I was trying to read. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so basically changing out that one ingredient, yeah. it's the it's sweeter and softer than the original recipe. So the original recipe must have been, must have had the rye in it. Which the rye we all know with rye gives it a, a, a spicier, a yeah. higher higher. It can it can feel like it's a higher proof with rye, but um, with, but it really isn't a high yeah. proof sometimes. But so the is, bottom line to his his distiller notes is the congeners are the big difference. The congeners. so those are the, the kind of the secondary. Um, things that the yeast are producing. So, congener sounds like a Harry Potter reference. Yeah. What am I thinking of with the Harry Potter? Mm -hmm. Those dark guys. Mm. The Dementors? The Dementors. <laughs> Congeners and Dementors. I was thinking Dr. Dementor. <laughs> Demento, I think. The Dementors is. and the Congeners. <laughs> no, now, I'm, now I'm getting a little char. Still yeah, we don't we don't know what the char is on any of these barrels. Let's be honest. Does it really matter? Mm, uh, no. Do you like it? Yeah. Yep. I think they may have mentioned it on the tour, but mm. on their website they don't mention anything. Yeah, but I got a little bit left, so I can go back to the first one. Yep, that's what I'm the doing. second one. 
<laughs> yeah, this one, this one on the on the nose, I'm getting like two two things. This one, I'm just getting the sweet. Yeah, barely sweet on the first one. <clears throat> This is your, 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 what you're sipping right now is this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. See, it's lighter, a little bit grainy. It is lighter. Green, yeah. It's lighter. Going back and forth. And I, that's a big difference when you go A to B, but especially high to low on proof, but. Completely, well, I was going to say completely different noses, but now nah, I don't really think they were completely different. One's just a little more pungent, more in your face. Okay, so now uh, I think I have a little bit left in both of my glasses. I've got a little, da, 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 da. A little, little bit of bit of bit of and a little bit of sweet red wheat. So um, I just kind of want to do a quick little another quick little taste on both. Mm -hmm. um, talk about what the MSRP is for both of those real quick. Um, and then at the I think the last thing we're gonna do is um, on Ben Holiday's website they have some cocktails. Um, that we're going to try one of their cocktails after this right away, made with the sweet red wheat called Apple Cinnamon Smash. It calls for a honey cinnamon simple syrup, which I made, and I'm excited to try that. So I think that's what we're going to start trying to do yep. is try to make some more cocktails. And we've got both recipes for the cocktail and the simple sugar, the honey, out on our Chasing Neat website. And we'll put it in the description below, too. And we will put it in the description <laughs> yeah, below. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's like the homework from this video. Yes. Video. Okay, gotcha. I'm like, we have this on our site, and I was like, we do? Oh, we will, but we do. <laughs> gotcha. All right, but you We've were... got the simple sugar already. I did that today. Yeah. But you didn't give me the recipe for the cocktail, so oh. I'll have to add that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but anyway, um, what's gonna, we're going to... Oh, no. You drink all yours. Well, I'm going to finish the last two little sips. And while I'm doing that, you go ahead and give us MSRP on those. Oh, okay. Um, so this one is, I think, 65. No, 60. So this is 60. Yep. Um, and soft red is uh, 75. So we so, definitely know we can get this one, the yeah. bottled and bond. We find that in liquor stores. I'm not so sure about the soft red yeah, wheat. I, I haven't noticed that in our liquor stores on the shelves. Yeah. Um, we got this one. Um, and the black label here mm -hmm. um, at the distillery. Yeah. So. So the black label and just FYI, it looks just like this red bottle, but just a black label. But the difference between that one is a soft red wheat, I believe, bottled and bond. Both of these are bottled. This is bottled and bond, and the one off camera is a uh, bottled and bond. The only difference is ones with soft red wheat versus just the regular mash bill. The original mash bill for them. Um, includes a rye. The difference between these two is just that simple swap of the soft red wheat. Yep. So the soft red wheat um, corn uh, makes it less spicy, but not less yummy. Yep. yep. So, but anyway. Anyway. So, yeah. We were also going to tell you a little bit about the Ben Holiday mm -hmm. and the actual person Ben Holiday. So he was born in Kentucky. He moved to Weston, Missouri. It, it's called Weston because it was at the time the farthest west city in Missouri. It had about 300 people in it. Mm -hmm. But he'd moved there, and he started a, uh, among other things. But he was he started a stagecoach company. No, is that known as? Was that Wells Fargo stagecoach? So he started the the stagecoach company and then sold it. To Wells Fargo. Okay. So that's cool. how they acquired it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, he also owned the uh, a p part interest in the Pony Express, but he also owned other things like streetcars, steamships, uh, and railroads. So I'm assuming yeah. uh, because he had the railroad interest, he kind of understood that the Pony Express was on the way out, which is why he, he sold his interest. But um, at one time, he was the largest individual employer in the USA in the late 1800s. That's so cool. he had a lot of interest. Um, the distillery started um, over 166 years ago, mm -hmm. um, before, but before the, the, the distillery started, he started it there where, at the present location of the distillery because Lewis and Clark, when they had gone through that area, had noted that there was a, a spring that they could actually get to easily. 
So when he was when when Ben Holiday was looking at places to to, to start his distillery, he, he saw that he said um, it's a limestone spring, which it was noted from Lewis and Clark that it was a limestone spring. So he knew because he came from Kentucky that limestone made good water, which makes good bourbon. So he and his brother uh, David started the distillery, and then um, soon after the the first uh, bottling of their uh, bourbon, they he sold his interest to his brother. Now his brother was a a um, a, a captain, I think, in in somewhere. He was a, either a captain or a, got it here in my notes someplace. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. so he sold it to his his son. Anyway, yeah. And then um, at that point, it was called Blue Springs Distillery. And then it changed hands Couple times. back and forth. Mm-hmm. Um, but then um, it, it had been passed down to his son-in-law. And the son-in-law renamed it to Barton and Holiday in 1894. Mm. Barton? Cool. But then it was purchased by the Schwan. Shawhan? Shawhan and Singer. In, actually, 1900. And Singer, uh, Isidore. Isidore? Yeah. Isidore Singer, 1936. Yeah. And they called it the... the um, it didn't say. And then later, it was, it was purchased by Cloud Gray, 1950. Cloud Gray. Yeah. What a name. And then 1993, <laughs> the current owners bought it. And uh, that's the McCormick brand right now. McCormick Distilling. Yeah. And they make it. They do make a lot of liquors. Uh, like, they make uh, it. Yeah. They make yeah. a lot of. And they're yeah. all like, <clears throat> like, you know, bottom shelf, um, low priced uh, spirits, but they wanted to, to come back and and do justice to the name, so they came out with a with a a very respectable bourbon. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of they wanted to pay homage to, the, yeah. to Ben Holiday and the namesake. And that's why they named it Ben Holiday. Yeah. Yeah. And again, going to the distillery, we did see that springs at the Lewis and Clark. Um, oh, yeah. It's still. That, it, I mean, it's not like a big gushing yeah. uh, spring, but it's a very cool. It's they, kind of an op- outcropping of, of rocks yeah. and the spring coming through. And, but they capture the water yeah. and it goes into the, the cistern, right? So yep. that's very cool. You guys, I honestly cannot say enough about you have to visit this Holiday Distillery. It's very cool. Yeah. Um, it ranks up there in my top five, uh, I would say, historic distilleries. I'll link our, our distillery tour video um, yeah. in, in somewhere. Yeah, yeah. At, at, at the end credits, so there'll be a box there for that video. It will be, I promise. <laughs> you know, I'm always very skeptical. and go, it's going to be linked here. Assuming I or remember. it's going to be there. <laughs> Yeah, but, but I can way. always add that after the fact, even if I do forget. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll go on and add the, I'll, I'll correct the notes in the description, you know. And yeah. the spelling, because my yeah. spelling's horrible. Yeah, but anyway, again, going back to the, like, top five distillers, distilling companies, what the top five, top five distilleries that we recommend, we would recommend would be? Um, definitely, um, Castle and Key, Buffalo Trace, mm-hmm. not in any particular order, um, Ben Holiday. Mm-hmm. So that's three. Um, Jay Rieger. Jay Rieger. Jay Rieger, which is also in Kansas. Boston, Kansas City. Is it Kansas City, Missouri, or Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri? Yeah, we yeah. haven't even done a video on that anyway. And number five, we're waiting to figure that out. Ironfish. Ah, um, uh, not really. That's not much. That's a yeah. that's a small yeah. craft. Anyway, okay, top but four. Probably top four. Uh, five. I was gonna throw in um, four roses. Just yeah. because of the Yeah, because the, the history the of the yeah. Seagrams and then uh, being, you know, going to, the whole the whole connection with the master distiller, uh, Rutledge. Yeah. And we, him, Jim Rutledge bringing, you know, being part of the Seagrams and the Four Roses and, and all that, bringing it back and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, number five. In yeah. The top five. Anyway. So, um, definitely you guys have got to see this place. But, um, so what we're going to switch to next the magic of video. No, we're gonna go. Sing. We're gonna have apple cinnamon smash. We're going to try the drink with this soft red wheat. Right. Awesome. Good luck editing this one. Just like that. And just like that. Yeah. And just like that. Now we have no our drinks. drinks. 
apple Hi, cinnamon smash. It has the soft red wheat, the honey cinnamon simple syrup that I made, a little cinnamon stick. Um, also has, it says apple liqueur. We actually used apple brandy from uh, Spirits of French Lake. Yep. So. Because we didn't have any nasty apple, apple liqueur. <laughs> hey, apple liqueur, apple brandy. Hmm, close enough. Yep. So anyway, I'm extra. Cheers. Sure. Cheers. Oh, it smells really good. It smells very, <laughs> I smell the honey. Honey and cinnamon, mmm. Mmm, that's good. Oh, that's real good. Yeah. I thought it'd be a lot sweeter than that, but it's not. It's not overly sweet. Yeah. I definitely taste the bourbon. Yeah. I don't taste or feel the, the alcohol. No, no, no. Which means I can put more in. Um, and I only get that honey right the very, 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 very finish of that taste. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is, I mean, this is good. I'd do this again. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. The apple cinnamon smash. Yeah. I two, thumbs two thumbs up, up for me. Two thumbs up. Yep. So, anyway, um, I guess that's it, right? We're wrapping yeah. up. All right. Done. Anyway, like, yeah. subscribe, and share. And share. And. Most importantly, you guys, if you see any Ben Holiday on the shelf, absolutely buy it. It's oh, worth yeah, the price. Yeah. $75, I know, is getting up there. It's kind of hot. It's getting up yeah. there. If if you can find it, grab it for sure. Yeah. But more importantly, you guys have got to visit this, this distillery. It's amazing. Amazing whiskey. Bourbon. But, um, yeah. yeah, come visit. Anyway, till next time. Cheers. Cheers. And cut. Wait, can I spray you? Nope. <laughs> yeah, see you guys. <laughs>